Delivery day! Package has shown up. What do we got? Obviously, it was already opened and the bubbles came out. So we have a Telesson box here. This is for the GoPro Hero 9. What this is, let me show you all. All right. Let's see here. What is in here? It's got the little instruction book here, information packet. Charging cable there. Look at this cute little thing. Look at this. Here is the port with the cover here for charging. Now this is supposed to be a waterproof case. And so we got instructions, press to open. Let's see what happens. Well, I guess you gotta press to hold it. My love, would you like to lift that up while I press it? Lift just, boom, yep. So you gotta press it to hold it. These are the batteries. Now these are supposed to hold more charge than the batteries that come with the Hero 9. So we're gonna find out if it really does or not. I think what I'll do is um, probably overnight, I'll do a, uh, or in the evening time, I'll do a run. Just trying to do maybe some time lapses or something, something that'll be equal. I'm not gonna really probably save the footage. Might, if it's good, we'll use that probably to test it out. Uh, and it does hold three of these. Now, the other thing with this is, this case also works as a media card reader. As you see here, it's got places to hold the memory cards. And here is where you can place it to work as the card reader. So this not only is for the charging port, but it's a data cable also for hooking up to your computer. Um, so that will work there so that you can, if you don't have a data card reader, you can just use this all in one and it's great and it's waterproof. So like if you backpack, like our camera backpack has those little ringlets on the arms, I could just keep my, one of this hanging by my chest and uh, have backup batteries ready to go. Now, according to it, it will get all of these batteries charged in two hours. All three would be fully charged in two hours. So uh, I'll do a little bit more on it later on as I try it out and let y'all know how it works out. I'll also put the link down below where we got it, which will be an affiliate link. So if you do pick, pick it up through that link, it will be helping our channel out and we will much appreciate that. So let me do some testing here. So while it's charging, does have indicator lights for each battery that display on the front. They glow behind it. All right, so I want to give you all a little bit of an update on the battery charger and everything else. Of course, somebody has to try to video bomb, but it's okay. We're in the vehicle, and I'm going to give you all this update on these the uh, Telesen battery charger that I got. Now, you know, it does charge all three batteries. It takes about two and a half hours to fully charge all three batteries. The fewer batteries that's in there needing charge, the faster the charge time, obviously. One of the things I did point out about that data port cable on there, that is a 3.0 USB data port. Okay, so you are gonna get faster transfer speeds and it does prove out. Now, the other thing on the battery capacity, now this is something that's really critical to me, um, you know, it does advertise that it is a higher battery capacity. 
Now, while ultimately in the long run, the amount of run time that you get between those batteries, and I tested using all three, each one to be able to get a comparison and you know check, checking the batch and everything compared to the normal GoPro batteries. Now, I did get, you know, one of the batteries, I got about an hour and 21 minutes, another was hundred an hour and 20, three minutes the other was an hour and 26 minutes so there's a little bit of variation there now now i did all of these in 5k 30 fps okay all these tests so basically i maxed out the capacity of the camera set it to the highest settings to get the you know least amount of record time total uh just to find out what it's going to be able to do and really stress it out now yes the camera does get hot as we all know our gopro heroes they get hot under the strenuous situations and continuous recordings now these uh, Telesian batteries did last longer as in they straight recorded the whole way before the camera died and fully used up the battery capacity. With the GoPro Hero 9, one test, it died at 53 minutes the first time. Another test, it died at 109 minutes the first time. Uh, another one, it died, or I'm sorry, an hour and nine minutes. Another one time it died uh, at, it was an hour and 12 minutes before it died. All of these were because of how hot the camera got. And then I had to let it fully cool off and continue recording. I did end up still getting to an hour and 20 minutes. It was basically the max on every time with the GoPro Hero 9 OEM camera, or OEM battery. So yes, you do get more charge, or charge time, so therefore you get more not more charge time, you get more recording time out of these other batteries and you don't have to stop in between. I just was able to straight record through for that whole time. I didn't have to stop and let the camera cool off before it ran out of capacity. So to me, it was worth the money. I paid like $57 for them. I came, there, there is a kit that's just the case or uh, one with two kit batteries or one with three batteries. They also make these for the GoPro Hero 8 and under as well so if you had one of those instead you didn't have the nine they do have them out there uh, but I will have the link below so if you want want to check it out so from here on dream on wheels here's another satisfied uh, review on this one because I'm definitely gonna enjoy this see y'all later dreamers